That's pretty cool, Donald Duck. Hello, folks. Hi, Hi. how are you? Good. I have some old records over here. McDonald's. <laughs> Some old McDonald's. Boys. Oh yeah, there's a lot of Happy Meal toys. Wow. Or some old toys in general. Look at these in Japan. Cute. Oh, look at the old trading cards. <laughs> Three guys asking. Um, Ninja Turtles. Yeah, these are really old. I don't know. A dollar? A dollar a piece? Yeah. Okay. You guys have a shop? Uh uh. Just collect stuff. No, we sell in line. We, yeah, we don't we have, have a, a we don't have a physical no. shop. No, we don't have a store. But good for you. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of work, but it's fun. Yeah. I enjoy uh, it. Food, uh, which I'm everywhere. I am on eBay, whatnot, Macari. We also uh, have YouTube. YouTube. Have YouTube I do YouTube. What's your, what's your, what's your sign? What's your YouTube? It's American, American Arbitrage. Arbitrage. American Arbitrage. Yes, on American TikTok Arbitrage. And on and everywhere, yeah. He has over millions of followers, so he just. Wonderful. It's fun. I love, I love doing this. Yeah. This is my favorite kind of stuff, though. I love finding old toys. So these are old McDonald's toys from 1982 yeah. to 2000. We're gonna take. Yeah, it's just fun. Yes. Yeah. You guys collected them for years? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's wonderful. It's cool stuff. It's been a while since we've seen or been to a yard sale like this where there was vintage toys that were super affordable. That whole bag of Ninja Turtles, not just one of them. The whole bag was a dollar. There was playing cards. There was like old, um, whatever you call them, old uh, bandanas and stuff like that. And some of the older figures, not super high dollar ones. But basically, we'll be able to do one, two, three lots and sell them separately in those lots on eBay. Great to find those McDonald's toys, as you're going to see. A lot of them were older, and they can sell really well in lots. So just uh, take a look at what we're finding in there. There's some really good stuff. Who is this? I don't know. I don't know who that is. I think it's Dino Bravo, maybe? But yeah, I don't know very much know. about him. Nah. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I don't know why I like that. I just put it in my room. Take these for a buck. Want this for a buck? Sure. This for a buck. These for a buck. Are you getting that stuff? For sure, yeah. This stuff I like. You don't want that guy? No, I don't. Not really. It's... Maybe this. No, it's not. It's missing the wheels. I'm asking five for the what was in that bag we sure did go back i encourage you guys go back and rewind don of course don found this don picked up that bag there was something in there that's visible that will pay for everything pretty much more than likely that we got in this haul so go back and check it out we'll talk about it at the end of the video there's enough little cool things in it for sure what is this oh that's freaking cool is this a silly straw i don't know with an eyeball yeah that's cool grab that Grab those. Those are neat. Put this stuff right here. What do you think? Let's see how much more fun. So we are going to try to get a deal on most of these toys that we are finding at this yard sale. And that leads me to the sponsor of today's video. Which, of course, if you guys didn't watch the last video, it's still the same people. Vindu, guys. That is how we can post these items on multiple different spots 
and sell them a little bit quicker. Vindu allows us to cross list our items from eBay to Macari, from Macari to Poshmark, and just starting in the last couple weeks from any of those places to whatnot. The WhatNet integration is absolutely massive. So now what I'm doing, which has mostly been with sports cards, is I am taking cards that are on eBay and Mercari, higher dollar cards, and I am cross-listing them onto WhatNot. Now, a lot of people don't realize you can sell Buy It Now on WhatNot, so I leave it on WhatNot for a little bit, hopefully, you know, a couple days, give people a chance to buy it at full price. And if it doesn't sell, I just send it to my weekly Monday auction. Start it at whatever I want. Typically for me, that's $2.00. It could be $5, it could be $50, it could be wherever you wanna start it. And the best part is, the best part about Vindu, without a doubt for me, is the auto sales detection. So when it sells in that auction, say I started it too, it sells for $13, it's taken off Mercari and eBay for me. That's huge for me. I can't tell you how many times I've sold something on eBay and then like three months later it sold on Mercari because I forgot to take it off of Mercari. So the auto sales detection, Eliminates that worry for me. It's just taken off. And I don't have to think about it. Bro. Do you want to deal with all the boxes and stuff? You can move them if you want to actually deal with it. No, they can just like water them. You know what I'm saying? If it was all this kind of stuff, yeah. But. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we're just kind of piling some stuff up. Okay. of the day. I know. We appreciate it. This is exciting um, for us. So thank you. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. Six. Oh, man, these are just neat. Are cool. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Might be able to. Say ten dollars. Yeah, that's more than fair. That. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. We're gonna keep looking for a little bit. Okay. We'll, yeah. We can lean this up right here. Okay. Thank you. These are freaking cool. Oh wow, those are those remind me of my childhood. What are they? <laughs> They're like little bags, yes, right? Yes, for Halloween. Love them. Yeah, grab them. I think. This one. Oh, that's cool. It's got the little transformer guys. Do you just want? What about these totes? Are a little bit nicer. How much would you take on these two totes? Um, there's like a lot of stuff in it. I don't know. Um, say, okay, so let's say 20 bucks. So 10, 5, 10. Okay, 20 total so far? 10. What did I say? 10? Yeah. 10, and then you said 20. I don't know. 20 total? 20 for the. 10. Okay, so 30? Yeah, 30 that's, bucks. That's so fair. Far. That's fair. We're going to keep looking, <laughs> but we'll take that at 30 so far. Bin with the whole bin and everything in it. Okay. Does, does that sound oh, like $10 per McDonald's yeah. bin? Okay. Do you want to do 10 on another one of these? This has a lot of stuff in it, Don. It'd be fun to look through. Um, let's see. Thank you. We're, uh, should we probably will get another one or two. We'll see. That one I th is full, so. Well, you could even you could dump. put them together. Okay. These two? Yeah. <laughs> That's we'll pretty full. <laughs> you know, I, my dream was to save them and sell them and, you know. It's a, it's a bit of work. Yes, like, what, yeah. we, what we would do with this kind of stuff, you lot it up. Like, find five characters that are the same and then. Yeah. But 
the ones that really do the ones that really have some value not a ton but like you for four or five you can get like 20 or 30 bucks is like the 80s ones the little transformer ones are the muppet baby so i will tell people i'm a reseller i've been doing this so long guys i've been doing this since like the summer of 2011 give or take been going to yard sales been going to thrift stores i let people i know it helps me so much most people are open to it a lot of people doing yard sales especially don't want to resell the items individually on ebay it just takes a lot of time a lot of effort and if they can move this stuff you know out of their garage out of their house it's a win for them and we can do a little work and it's a win for us and hopefully collectors will end up with these and it's a win for them it's a win on every level that's what we're searching for and that's what we're trying to accomplish but we do like online auctions, so a lot of that stuff we can put in little lots and people will do. Okay. Maybe it's, one will go for three, one will go for 10, just depends on the day. Yeah. So yeah. We'll do okay, it's fun. And, so it's got the missing and we appreciate, we enjoy them, so they're yeah. fun to look they're through cool. and it's we like plan. we like toys, it's our favorite thing to find, so. I love this radical sign right here, mm -hmm. radical road. We're probably gonna end up keeping that. This is a whole bag of turtles for a dollar. That was a steal, there's parts, there's pieces, incomplete, mm -hmm. but that's all right. Got this Bart Simpson and a little Bart Simpson. Needs a little cleaning, but not bad. I love the silly straws. Mm -hmm. Silly straws are dope with little eyeballs, eyeballs in them. That's kind of cool. Look at Whoa. this. What is that? In the dollar bag. What the heck? You know what? I don't know what it it's is. It's a what Game & Watch. Those are from the early 80s. What do you mean a watch? That looks like a Game & Watch. So like it was like a handheld. I found one of these before in the past at the DI for a buck and it sold for a hundred. It's missing the back. Maybe it might be one of these bags. Though. It is a balloon fight, so we'll we'll do some research on that. Pretty cool piece, though, right there. Wow, that's cool. And then all this and dollar we, bags. We already took some totes up, so this is a nice extra. Wow, it's a good day, eh? Yeah. So before Nintendo made their home entertainment system here in the U.S., before they made the N64, the Wii, the Wii U, the Switch. They, they did playing cards way back in the day, but before they did the systems in the early 80s, they made these handhelds that are kind of akin to like the late 80s, early 90s uh, Tiger handheld games. Um, they're really neat. There's the Game & Watch. There's, there's a couple different ones. This one was called Balloon Fight. It was in that dollar bag. We didn't realize it when we bought it, and then we found out it was in there. It was a very, very pleasant surprise. I'd found one of these my second or third year reselling, like 2000, probably 2012, for a dollar at the DI, had the back, we tested it, it worked. I sold it for a little over 100, I think like 100, 110, and it sold within days. This one didn't have the back, we took it home here. We just tested it like 15 minutes ago, it does work. All the buttons are working, it's a little dirty, it doesn't have the back, so we have to like hold the batteries in for it to work. So what we're gonna do is just say that's the issue. People can pretty much use like painter's tape or something to hold the batteries in, it's not that big of a deal. It's still a pretty playable unit. One sold on auction for 48 uh, plus shipping. That's way too low. You don't want to sell this kind of item on auction. One sold for like 200 um, on buy it now. Obviously, we have a small issue, but the, the major issue would be if it didn't work and it does work. So we're going to ask about 150, which could be high. I'm not sure. Um, and we're going to do OBO. We're going to see what kind of offers come in. I love to do that. If it's up for a couple weeks and we keep getting $60 offers, $70 offers, whatever, then we'll know maybe that's where the market is and we can either accept one of those a week or two down the line or um, we can basically re repost it um, and then start it at that, that level. So I love using the buy it nows with the best offers to kind of gauge sometimes what these items are worth. worth. And a lot of times we'll get, we'll get more. We may get the whole 150, somebody may offer 120. I personally think it's worth more than 100. The backing can can be got, you could probably 3D print it. It's not that big of a deal. It's still a working unit, pretty clean overall, honestly. Light wear except for missing that back. So we're excited about that. The Ninja Turtle stuff, I was surprised to get a whole bag of that. A lot of the, there was like a 90s, not only like the, uh, you know, the bandanas that they would wear that you would dress up for, uh, for Halloween, there's also like a real bandana that would cover your head um, from 1990. Not worth a ton, like 12 or 13 dollars by itself. But we'll put that with the playing cards. We'll make a little Nintendo, not a Nintendo, a Ninja Turtle lot. And um, it'd be nice if we had several Nintendo things to make a lot. So that was a really good, fun, inexpensive vintage toy and um, video game haul. Unexpected. 
you know, it is a big time of year right now in Vegas with all the community sales and Sun City, that's where we were at, uh, paid off big with just that one sale. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be back uh, within the week or within about a week with the next video. And I appreciate you all. Take care.